The Samsung Galaxy S4 Activist tease for AT&T. iPhone rumors seem to point out to an iPhone 6 coming, and Amazon is rumored to bring a 3D screen on a phone. I'm Jaime Rivera, and can you imagine the pain of having to watch me on 3D? This is Pocket Now Daily. Let's start today off talking about Nokia. The company has been marketing their unannounced Nokia Lumia 928 with video comparisons with the iPhone 5 and Galaxy S3. Yeah, the 3. And also audio comparisons as well, links down below. And if you want to see everything that happens with their May 14th event, we will be covering it live. So make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll give you the full details of everything that happens. Up next, we've got Samsung. We know about their Galaxy S4 Active, that rugged, waterproof version of the Galaxy S4 that plans to retain the same design, pretty much like the Sony Xperia Z. Apparently, the company is planning to bring this phone first to AT&T, but then again, we've also got rumors that the phone will be launched in Europe on July 15th, so it begs to wonder which will be first. Stay tuned. Up next, we've got ASUS. The company is the king of Android tablets for a reason, and they just teased out that they'll be having an event on June 6 at Computex, and apparently we will be getting the new Transformer Prime at this event, but wait a second. It says that they're transforming everything, but then they're showing Windows 8 tablets all over, so the question is, what are we getting? Now for some Apple news, we've got some leaked listings showing that the next generation iPhone will be called the iPhone 6 and not the iPhone 5S. But wait a second, I mean, the leak is kind of weak. It only shows a couple of listings showing that the iPhone 6 is being mentioned. Anybody could type this up, but then again, if you think about it, iPhone 5S sounds kind of weak. It most probably is the fact that Apple is considering bringing the iPhone 6 as a name as apparently they will be bringing a cheaper iPhone, which could probably be the iPhone 5S. You never know. And finally for the, oh, come on, news of the day, we've heard the rumors of Amazon building a Kindle phone for the longest time and we're bored about it, but the Wall Street Journal is now reporting that the company is actually working on two phones. And get this, one of these phones has a 3D screen and I thought those were dead, but apparently this is some new technology that will track your retina in order to be able to give you the 3D renders that you'll see on the display. But regardless of that, what's the point about having that technology on a phone? It kind of makes more sense on a tablet where you'll be watching a movie, but that leads me to the question of the day. Would 3D on a display, especially on a phone, be something that you're looking for as a feature? Uh, 3D is dead. I mean, in my particular case, I hate to go watch movies on 3D because I, instead of enjoying the movie better, I end up with a bigger headache. So leave us a comment down below. Do you enjoy 3D? I mean, people are not even buying 3D TVs anymore. They're just gimmicky. And of course, as always, for an earlier scoop of everything that's happening in the smartphone and tablet world, make sure you follow us on PocketNow.com, subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also follow me on Twitter at Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We will see you tomorrow.